So this is my makeup look of the day. Super simple, I kept it more natural. It's what I'm used to on a day-to-day -day basis. I normally keep it around this tone and this this level of drama, if you will. So if you're interested on how I got this look, please continue watching. Fresh face and I'm ready to do this. Always start with a clean face. First thing I like to do is apply some oil. This actually has lavender in it. It's lavender and sage. It's great to hydrate the skin. Just a few drops. You don't want to do too many because then you'll over hydrate your face if that makes sense. I also feel like when you're going for a more natural look, this definitely helps give that, that good shine. You know what I'm saying? I like to go in with the Too Faced Hangover RX. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of this. Just one pump. I don't use too much. And also make sure your hands are clean. Alright, she's in. Alright, next step, foundation. I know that some people like to do their makeup differently. I like to start from the bottom and build my way up. So eyebrows is normally like the last thing I do. A foundation that I've actually been really obsessed with recently and I've been using a lot is um, the number 7 Lift and Illuminate foundation. I don't like it when it's too full coverage, so I like something with more of a medium. I've worked really hard to get my skin to where it is, and I do feel like I don't need that much. Go all the way down, girl. And I really like this foundation because it's it's dewy and it's moisturizing. It also has SPF in it, so it's like you're protecting your skin, and you should always, always either wear a moisturizer or a foundation that has SPF. You could build on top of this if you wanted to. Alright, so she's buffed. This is in Honey, by the way. So now I'm going in with Boing Concealer in the shade number one. I like going in with my finger. I know that that's people don't like doing that, but since I clean my hands and I don't really share with anyone, I don't mind. This is my makeup, but I would never do that to anybody else's makeup. It's just weird. I will also put it a little on my nose. I like to also use the e.l.f. Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Fair. Put that up here and here because that is my problem area. I do like to work better with brushes. I've tried using sponges and whatnot. It's just, it doesn't work for me. Buff all of this out. If you do feel like you need or want that extra contouring, one product that I do suggest is the Tarte CC Cream. And it also has uh, correcting colors, the green and uh, the pink. So it does do a little bit of correcting, and I really like it. It's creamy, it's not too thick. Apply this uh, kind of right here. You know what, actually, I'll do it just to show y'all how it would look if I did it. It will accentuate your cheekbones a lot more. Don't make fun of me, but this is the only kind of sponge that I have and I like actually using that. I just kind of flip it together and I blend it out. Now she's blended. Um, I'm gonna go ahead in with my CoverGirl Clean Professional Powder, loose powder in the shade 105. And it has a little, little applicator kind of thing that comes with it. And I just, yes girl. And I'll take this thing, the little, but with the brush, I will set this again. Same brush I used the first one. And I will pack that into my eyes. Again, on the other side. Set up here. Boom. Now I'm a cakey goddess. Get rid of some of this. I don't like setting it for too long. This is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. The formula is so creamy. It's like heaven it goes on where I want it to go so I'll go in with a little brush like this Just... oh and it smells like like tropical goodness you know what I mean so I will just go in furrow my cheekbone a little bit kind of using it as a bronzer and as a uh, contour at the same time and I'll just go around my my face I'm just going with more of like a fluffy type brush just to make sure I get it in all the areas that I truly want it. Ooh, yes. 
So I do, I do like to bring in a little, just a little bit of blush. I'm not a, a complete blush person. So I will go in with the Too Faced Perfect Blush. It's not overly pigmented, so, and it works the way that I want it to. Just on the apples, a little amount. Yeah, I did just use the same brush, but whatever, don't kill me. I'm gonna just do my eyes. For my eyes, I like to keep it super simple, especially if, 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 if I'm doing a makeup look. And what I really like to use is the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. Random little fluffy brush, and I'll just, and apply that onto my lid. And it just accentuates the bronze look that I'm going for. I'm actually also going to contour my nose a little bit. I do feel like in this lighting I would look weird if I didn't. Just a quick little... Ooh! Now I'm just going to add a little definition to my eyes and go in with the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia and uh, use this color right here. Uh, antique bronze. Just gonna go in with a, a simple little fluffy brush and girl. You know when you start doing your makeup and then it just completely turns out to be a different thing? No, it's just me. Now I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows just a little bit. Again, I'm a more natural kind of person. Honestly, I just use like regular brown kind of shadow that I just no longer use as a shadow. Um, I like using a small little brush like this and uh, just filling in where it needs a little bit more loving. Oh girl! Oh my god! Boom! And just to make sure that the hairs don't move anywhere, I go in with a brow gel. This is just Ulta Beauty brow tint in a medium. Keep the hairs where they naturally flow. I don't have false lashes, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead, and anyway, since this is a more natural look, I don't feel as bad not having them. I'm just gonna double up, fan them out, girl. I know you really can't see it, but I did put on mascara. I don't know, maybe, boom. You still can't see it. Go away. Don't judge me. And now for the final touch. You can't leave the house without highlighter. Who who does that? Let me find out who does that. I like my fanny brush. Fanny. Ha. And I'm going to go in with my Tardis Pro Glow Palette. Thanks, Mom. And I'm going to go in with the shade Stunner right here. And just apply life to my face. Girl, like, look at the difference. Do you? Do you? And the way that the lights hit it. Perfection. Girl. Yes. Don't mind me, just drinking my juice. <laughs> so, this is today's look. I went with something a little bit more natural. Um, normally what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Easy to do, takes about 20 minutes, so super quick, super easy, very natural, but it still accentuates all your natural features. Yeah. Now I'm going to take off my makeup and go to sleep. Good night.